Welcome back everyone this is chapter 22 we are going to learn about AC Linux. In this chapter we are going to describe about the AC Linux and what are the uses of AC Linux and what are the configuration files are used for the AC Linux. There are three modes of AC Linux is that there is we can cat the configuration file in etc sys config AC Linux. The default by default, we are having a enforcing mode. Thus, AC Linux is equal to enforcing. So that the AC Linux enforcing will be the policy. What are the policy up, uh, applied to any one of the files or folders or to the device files or anyone? Any object in this uh, Linux server will be applied to enforcing mode. So that that for the policy which we applied on that file or directory will be in enforcing mode and it's highly secure. AC Linux is one of the security layer in Linux. Uh, it's a special permissions one, like same as special permission. If you want to get a uh, access for any one of the file or web page, we want to provide with the AC Linux label. The proper labeling for any one of the file or web uh, web service or anything, uh, it will be accessed. If not, if the proper labeling is not uh, is not there, we can't able to access those files or directories. So the enforcing mode will be forcing the all the policies on a file so that whenever the enforcing mode will be on we can't able to access any one file or directory if we are not going to apply with the record policy okay the permissive mode will just give the information about the just it will write the log and it will notify the user uh, what happening and uh, what is the information are going on like that okay disabled mode is just disabled just it it will totally disable the AC Linux. the configuration file will be under etc sysconfig AC Linux. if you want to check the current status of the AC Linux, just type sc status so that it will type it will print the status okay sc linux status is equal to enabled so the the current status was enabled and the current mode was in enforcing okay the mode of config file is equal to enforcing that means the config file uh, we have seen that in the config file sc linux is equal to enforcing that means the file this file also the mode of config file uh, configuration also mentioned with enforcing if i want to uh, make the permissive mode the i don't want the sc linux to force any one of the policy uh, i want to use all the files and directories so i don't want to write with uh, the uh, record policy if that the situation we can do one thing we can run set and force zero so that if you run this command the sc linux will be forced to permissive mode let us see the status now just run sc status so that you can get the current mode is enforcing mode but the configuration file is the mode of the config file is enforcing the same here because we have not edited the file so if you want to make the permanent change to the sc linux we can do one thing just edit the etc config uh, sc linux and make the configuration uh, permanent sc linux is equal to permissive once it's done save and quit so that the configuration file will be uh, always in permissive mode now the sc linux is showing that the current mode is also permissive and the mode of the config file is permissive. I don't want the AC Linux, so what can I do? For that, we can edit the same configuration file and we can, instead of permissive, we can give AC Linux is equal to disabled. If you are going to disable the AC Linux, you require a reboot to apply the, uh, it want to remove the labels from the directories and files, all the files and directories and uh, device files and whatever. It want to remove the label so it's require a reboot if i am going to if the assume that my server is not having the ac linux so that whenever i am uh, running the ac status command it will show ac linux disabled it will show only one line ac linux is equal to disabled it, it won't show the all the uh, remaining lies, lines the highlighted lines will not be printed the benefits of ac linux is it will label all the file with all the files and folders and the uh, uh, object file or uh, device file whatever the files it will label with one of the uh, policy so that 
no one can able to access the file without providing the required policy if only the mode was in enforcing mode okay now the current uh, current mode is permissive mode so uh, anyone can access the file or uh, they can edit the file or whatever they want to do we can do it. but uh, the permissive uh, mode will just give the information what's happening but it will not deny any it, it don't do any restriction to the modification or whatever okay if i want to set any one of the slnx uh, boolean boolean value okay uh, if i want to get uh, get to know all the uh, policies are uh, in this uh, machine so that i can do one thing get the c bool minus a this will print all the available slnx options okay what are the options are available in slnx what are the this this machine have this much of configurations if i want to um, enable the web server or sftp or samba server for example i need to enable the ftp service so that what can i do for that we have here just a c get a c bool hyphen grub ftp here we can see the home directory and the ftp home directory and anonymous write that all now off if i want to set any one of the uh, now i want to allow the anonymous the anonymous uses uh, of ftp service want to write to the directory public directory so what can i do for that i can run the command for getting the information about this in uh, this acln ac contacts uh, policies uh, we can do one thing just uh, uh, we can print the command get a c pool the same thing to set a ac ac linux uh, policy we can use set ac bool set ac bool ftp ftpd anonymous right is equal to on okay i have on the ftp i have enabled the anonymous users right permission under the ftp public directory so that anyone the anonymous user who are going to log into the server uh, ftp server in this server they can able to write the any file inside the public directory so if you want to check again we can run the command get a c bool okay here we can see ftpd and uh, anonymous write is on now thus we can change any policy for sftpd or httpd or samba server we have everything every services will be applied with the sc policies how uh, you may ask how can i know about the sc linux default sc linux of any one of the file let me show that here the file name is script if i want to know the context sc linux context of this file i want to list using ls hyphen l z capital z script so that it will display the sc linux context of this file here we can see the file is under home directory so it's labeling with one of the policy named object under the admin's home okay like that it will label with each and every file and directories will be labeled with sc linux context okay the same thing we can check for the directory test here we can see i have displayed the i have run the command ls hyphen l d z capital z and test the directory name okay so that it will list the system object admin home the root the root the home directory of the root user is slash root so admins home so if i want to uh, apply any one of the policy i want to restrict uh, some of the uh, i want to make some changes restriction changes to, in this file or directory i can use the sc linux if i want to restore the default uh, default sc linux sc linux context in on this file i can use the command restore restore con so that it will restore applied wrongly applied a different policy on this file and i want to revert back i can use this command restore con script that file so that it will revert back to the default slnx context of this file we can't able to cover all the uh, topics in slnx so i am going to show the man page how to use it just run man slnx and you can go through the configurations available configurations okay 
and one more man page is there man minus k AC Linux. This man page will uh, give us all the available AC Linux commands and options man page so that whenever you are going to run this command if I if you are going to uh, set a zbool okay set a zbool 8 okay so set the AC Linux boolean value so I want to run this man page man set a zbool 8 just put 8 so that it will give the man page of the boolean set the zbool okay here we can see set a zbool 8 so that it will give what are the available options are available or what are the arguments we can use thus we can go through all the sc linux uh, man page we can't able to cover all the topics in this chapter so we need to take this chapter as a dedicated sc linux that we can see later in a dedicated uh, tutorial okay thus we can use with sc linux and secure the linux service thanks thanks for watching in next tutorial let us see about the m repository creating a m repository please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right gnu logo